Well, good afternoon, church. You know, Christmas is such a wonderful time of the year. Homes take on a cozy glow from the trees and the lights, poinsettias add a splash of color, and gifts are given and received. Of course, what we recognize is that it's not about the food or the festivities, or even about family. It's not even about the greenery or the garland, and it's not even about the Christmas cards or the carols or the tinsel or the traditions. Christmas is solely about God. In fact, it's all about Emmanuel, God with us. Christmas is about God fulfilling his promises, saving his people, and coming to us as one of us in Jesus Christ. Christmas is all about Jesus. And in the hustle and bustle of life, in the grit and grime of this world, isn't that what we need to hear? We need a message of hope. We need a message of joy. We need a message of peace. And that's the message of Jesus at Christmas. When the angel appeared to Mary, it said, Fear not, Mary. You have found favor with God. This young, unwed mother with so much uncertainty and so many questions in her life was told not to fear because God was with her. She could have hope despite her circumstances. And when the angel appeared to the shepherds, it said, Fear not. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. You know, there are so many things in this world that seek to steal our joy. But the shepherds and we are reminded that Jesus is the one who brings us true joy. And when the host of angels appeared to those same shepherds, they said, Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth to those on whom his favor rests. How good it is to know that we can rest in the favor of God and in his peace. But what we believe is that all of these things are found only in the gift of Jesus, whom we celebrate and receive at Christmas. If you need to hear about those things for the first time, or if you need to be reminded of those things once again, we want to invite you to come and join us here at Presby for any of our Christmas Eve services taking place at 4, 7, or 11 p.m. And if you have friends or neighbors who need to hear that good news, we want to make sure that you're inviting them to join us as well. We look forward to seeing you in these coming days, and our prayer for you is that you may know his joy, his peace, and his hope this Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone.